Hi everyone, this is Dr. Zach Boris from uh, Dickinson County Public Health and Lakes Regional Healthcare in Spirit Lake, Iowa. Um, coming to you with an, with an update about COVID-19 coronavirus. Um, it is the 26th of March and we in Dickinson County have just had our confirmed first case of COVID-19. Um, it was diagnosed today. The patient is stable currently, getting treatment and in isolation. Um, it is a gentleman who is between the ages of 61 and 80. Um, so what does that mean for our community? Truthfully, uh, we've been preparing for this for weeks. Um, we have put in place uh, uh, guidelines and recommendations that we have been communicating with you through press releases and, and through um, Facebook and videos like this. You get to see lots of me, lucky you. Um, but we're trying to be as transparent as we can as an organization and as a public health community to tell you really what's going on. So our recommendations at this point don't change. At this point, we recommend that you stay home as much as possible unless you're going out for essential uh, functions for work or um, to get food and supplies for your family. Otherwise, try to stay at least six feet away from everyone that you see. Um, don't shake hands, don't have parties, don't drink uh, together, don't go to bars. They're not open anyway. Um, still try to support your local businesses. If you are feeling ill, um, if you're my, uh, slightly ill, stay home. Um, if you're uh, having shortness of breath, if you're having fevers, if you're coughing, call our clinic at the um, COVID-19 hotline of 336-6692-6696, I'm sorry, 336-6696, um, and that will, between the uh, hours of 8 and 5, uh, get you directly to a triage nurse who can tell you where the best place to go is. Um, you will be seeing some changes around the hospital and hearing about them. Um, we are doing everything we can to protect our patients and our community and our staff so that no one else gets ill. Um, there will be other cases uh, locally. I'm sure there already are some, we just have not found them yet. Thankfully, we have not had any um, severely ill patients here, but um, we may. Um, so we, there may be some changes in the coming days of our visitor policies, which have already been restricted. They may be restricted more. Uh, we will communicate as much as we can to you about that as soon as we know the details. Um, you'll be seeing changes in our clinic structures likely next week, and we'll be communicating that out as well. Um, we've already instituted a respiratory clinic, which keeps the folks who are sick and may have uh, COVID-19 away from those who are uh, well. Um, and so there will be more of that, and um, we are prepared. Uh, we are as prepared as we can be here. Uh, we are changing our protocols daily. We are taking the best evidence from our partners in Sioux Falls as well as around the country and the globe uh, to really provide the best care that we can to patients who come to us with COVID-19. Um, and really, we just this is a time where we need to come together as a community, um, make the sacrifices that uh, have been asked of us, um, both as healthcare providers and um, as a community in general, uh, we know that lots of folks are hurting. We know that this is a time where money is tight and where um, isolation is getting to a lot of folks. Um, so just be strong, uh, reach out to your supports, um, help folks who do need help, um, and we'll be in touch more as, as things go on. But again, this really doesn't change much. We've been preparing for this for weeks. Uh, it's unfortunate. We had hoped that this would stay out of our community, but. It is officially here and now we can move on to the next stage of actually treating folks who do have it and um, taking care of our community as people potentially do get sicker. So thanks for working with us, thanks for your support, and uh, we'll keep updating you.